what's going on YouTube we're back with another video today I'm going to show you guys how to get the 2023 2024 college revamped rosters they just dropped so I'm going to show you guys how to get them put them in your game so you can use the new updated rosters that everybody's been waiting for so let's hop into it first off to get college football revamped, you must have a modded PS3 or Xbox 360 or have it on PC. To download the game and to get all the mods on the original revamp, you just go to College Football Revamp's Twitter and then head to their site and it will have a breakdown of how to download the games. I'm just going to be here to show you how to get the rosters and put them in the folder that they give you for revamp and what it should look like when you show up on the game. Obviously, you must have a USB plug into your PC and then you download the college football revamped onto the USB. This is what your USB file should look like on your USB on the computer. So you should have the PS3, you should have the two installers A and B, you should not have this playoff tool. This is just an extra thing I downloaded to use in College for Revamped if you want to use a college football playoff in one of your dynasties. So you don't have to have that, but if you want to go looking for that, it's easy to find. Just look up College Football Revamp Playoff Tool, and it'll be a step-by-step -step on how to download that. So to get the new rosters, just go on the internet and look up college football revamped updated rosters and the first link that shows up should be from operationsports.com and it should say NCAA 2023-2024 rosters just click on that and it should just look exactly like what is on your screen right now and then you have the option to choose from a PS3 offline file an Xbox offline file or a RPCS3 file which is if you have college football revamped on your PC you click on whichever one you need I need the PS3 so you should just click on the PS3 dot zip and then it should start downloading it once that is downloaded you want to head to your folder that has all of your things for college football revamped in it and it should be on a USB drive so you can take it out and put it in your PS3 or Xbox 360 and this is what it should look like minus the playoff tool because I just downloaded that so I can use playoffs in my revamped dynasties you should have a PS3 folder and it should look like this PS3 save data blues 311 59 roster I if you have roster U, that is the old college football revamped roster from last season. If you have that, just delete that and make sure you download the roster and put it in just like this. It should go PS3, save data, blues, roster I, and then that should have all of the rosters and game stuff in it. And then all you need to do is take that USB plug it back in to your PS3 once you have all that on the USB and you have plugged it into your PS3 you should go onto your PS3 or Xbox find wherever your saved stuff from the USB is mine is right here on saved data utility and it should say NCAA football 14 roster I that means you're in the right spot that means it's downloaded onto your game and you should just have to boot up the game college football revamped and the roster should be there waiting for you after you have done all of that you're going to want to head into the game and press on edit rosters and this is how you're going to know if you have done it correctly not all the teams have been updated so some teams like for example right here ohio state they still have street cj stroud on their roster but to make sure it did work head up to Notre Dame and they should have their brand new transfer quarterback Sam Hartman he was on Wake Forest transferred over to Notre Dame for this year and if you want to go check out Colorado has a brand new roster with all of their transfers that they got from Jackson State and from around the nation including five star 
Travis Hunter, along with Deion Sanders' son, Shador Sanders, and other key pieces like Cade Klubnik as the starter for Clemson now. It's not DJ Uyunglele. It is now Cade Klubnik. And then if you have it over to Alabama, they no longer have Bryce Young. They now have Tyler Butchner, I think is how you say it, from Notre Dame. And then they have Jalen Milrow, who's actually their starter in real life. So if you do want to go to the depth charts in the main menu and put him on top, that would be more correct because he is the starter as of game one of the regular season. And then you can go through all the teams, see which ones have the transferred players and the players that have left the team. But not all of them are changed as you could see with the Ohio State roster but it does look like Georgia is updated so hopefully most of these teams are updated I hope this video did help you out along the way showing you how to get the rosters and get them onto your PS3 or Xbox 360 like and subscribe I'm back I don't know if you guys have seen one of my videos before but I took a little break in the offseason of college football, but we're back, hopefully putting out two to three videos a week. Let me know down below what you guys want to see. Obviously, with the new rosters, we're going to have a bunch of stuff coming soon. Like and subscribe. I will see you guys very soon. Peace.